All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting in my home away from home and uh, getting ready to head out to the range, but it looks like it's getting ready to storm like a big dog out there. We're not going to let that stop us, though, right? So anyway, just got a bunch of emails from everybody. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have been trying to keep on the DNL down low uh, as it relates to the McCluskeys. That whole situation has got me so pissed off. Um, I would just say this. Guys, know the law when it comes to firearms. Now, I'm all about protecting your property. And if you're in a situation where you may be scared, this is why I've had to check out. Well, anyway, a uh, bunch of emails came in. And I sat there and went over to Jared's site and I watched it. Uh, talking about the uh, government, uh, UCMJ, red flags, that kind of thing. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. If you are interested in this, this is HR 6395, Section 542. And I'm going to put the link down below. Go to page 343. This thing is 1,427 pages long. But it's all about domestic violence, uh, sexual abuse, things of that nature. Stuff that we, you know, hey, nobody wants that stuff, right? But if you get to page 343, this is where they're talking about firearms. This is where the firearms argument in, enters into this whole thing. And... Uh, I was all about it. I'm, up, I'm all about it, protecting women, protecting men, protecting partners, whatever y'all want to be today. Doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Uh, but, it, you know, if you're getting your ass kicked by somebody, then, you know, there ought to be some retribution. Get up, have them arrested, do whatever they got to. But here's what the deal is. Uh, there is a section in there about due process. Matter of fact, why don't we do this? I want to read that section because I thought it was uh, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, due process. Protection of due process, except as provided in paragraph 2, okay, a protective order authorized under section A may be issued only after reasonable notice and opportunity to be heard directly through counsel is given to the person against whom the order is sought sufficient to protect that person's right to due process. Uh, emergency orders, a protective order on an emergency basis may be issued on an ex parte basis under such rules and limitations as the president shall prescribe. In case of the ex parte orders, notice and opportunity to be heard must be provided within a reasonable time after the order is issued sufficient to protect the respondent's due process rights. Uh, rights of the victim, the victim of an alleged sex or domestic violence offense who seeks a military court protective order has, in addition to any rights provided under Section 806B, the following rights, oh yeah, it's going to rain like hell, with respect to any proceeding involving a protective order, the right to reasonable, accurate, and timely notice of the proceeding and of any change in the status of the protective order resulting in the proceeding, the right to be reasonably heard at the proceeding, the right to, be, to appear in person with or without counsel at the proceeding, the right to be represented by a qualified counsel in connection with the proceedings, which may include a special victim's counsel, the reasonable right to confer with a representative of the command of the accused and the counsel representing the government at the proceeding as the applicable. All right, let's get on to it. Restrictions on access to firearms, page 343. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if someone who, and I understand there's a difference between being accused and being convicted, okay? There's a difference. Uh, but if you, <laughs> Uh, so anyway, here we go. Restrictions on access to firearms in general, notwithstanding any other provision of law, a military court protective order issued on an ex parte basis shall restrain a person from possessing, receiving, or otherwise accessing a firearm and a military court protective order issued after the person to be subject to the order has received notice an opportunity to be heard on the order shall restrain such person from possessing, receiving, or otherwise accessing a firearm in accordance with Section 922 of Title 18. Uh, all right, one more time. A military court protective order issued after the person to be subject to the order has received notice. An opportunity to be heard on the order shall restrain such person from the possessing, receiving. Now, I don't know if that's... Is he been just being heard or is he being convicted? Due process. Hmm. Notice to Attorney General, not later than 72 hours of the issuance of an order described in paragraph 1. The Secretary of Defense shall submit to the Attorney General a record of the order. Hmm. 
Treatment as lawful order. A military court protected order shall be treated as a lawful order for the purpose of the application of Section 892, Article 92, and a violation of such order shall be punishable under such session command matters. Uh, that's in everything. Okay, so yeah, the new law does, uh, in fact, have a red flag deal in there. Restrictions on access to firearms. That's a red flag. Uh, as of now, though, if you look at the, the pro progress of this bill, currently, if you look at the actions taken, uh, there was a bunch of uh, votes happened on the 16th. Uh, 7 20 2020 that was last night at 8 38 pursuant to clause 1c of rule x1 x xix i don't even know what the hell that is it's uh whatever 119 i guess i don't know per further proceedings on hr 6395 were postponed um there were just all kinds of stuff going without objection a motion to reconsider was laid upon the table uh there was an amendment all this stuff happened at 8.38 last night. The previous question was ordered on the amendment pursuant to rule, but as of late, uh, it said it was postponed. The, uh, let's see here, all actions except for amendments. That's about it. But I'm gonna put the link down below. Go straight to that page and read it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, I hate red flags. I think they're idiotic. Uh, an individual is not given the opportunity to rep represent themselves before they come doing a, uh, what is it, a no-knock raid? Uh, people are going to get hurt. So hopefully that's not the case. But who knows? But let me know what your thoughts are down below based on what I read to you guys, and then we'll go from there. But that's it. I uh, just want to thank the guys who, uh, hold on one second. Let me go ahead and uh, give this gentleman the credit where credit is due. Dave Wolf. Thank you, Mr. Dave for sending that information to me. Uh, thanks, Jerry, for doing all that you do, man. Uh, you got, you, you're got you a bigger man than I am, but this is Representative Smith, Adam Smith, Democrat from Washington, of course. Yeah, look at this turd. Anyway. All right, guys, that's it. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. And I'm talking about those guys in the military who uh, are having their rights taken away from this guy, Mr. Adam Smith from Washington, just outside of Seattle. Yeah, District 9. <laughs> Y'all take care. I'm out of here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Boom.